think about Here we are, landed in San Francisco, driving to Danville. We're gonna check into our Airbnb. Um, everything's been going pretty smooth on this job so far. Found a great group of guys to work with out here. I got another group of guys coming in I've never worked with before. They have a masonry company, so hopefully this goes pretty well. Wish me luck. about California the landscape package is free I mean look you just let nature take over it's beautiful you got flowers and everything I and mean, this is a beautiful weed I could actually pick this and bring it home to my wife the only problem is she's a couple thousand miles away so by the time I get it to her it'll be dead sorry honey step one was for me to get here prep everything step two was to start rock work on one side working to the other side staging material on both sides of the pool and just making sure that we have a good consistent fast flow of work. Let that triangle could go on top of it like this. I'm gonna back you up kind of right from here. The guys at Penn Hall, they were great guys. It was kind of cool to meet them. A bunch of them were fans of the show. So just to kind of meet those guys, get some pictures with them, trade stories, pretty cool. It's, it's great to come out to a new area, make new contacts, new relationships. <laughs> the original plan was to have some big boulders that were core drilled here, but they're having such a hard time core drilling the rocks. To save time, we went vertical, and I'm actually really pleased with this because instead of just the look of rocks stacked on top of each other, I think this adds a lot more interest. So we'll have the look of the stacked rocks to the left, but here we got some really cool vertical columns. I love all the character of these boulders. These are my beautiful Tennessee rocks. So they had a long trip to get out here to California, but they're looking great in this environment. All coming together. And the cows are moving in. <laughs> oh, look at you, got by the grill, he's ready. Cooking out. Look at these guys are awesome, man. Making themselves at home, they got a grill set up. Gonna have to get this guy a little apron to wear. <laughs> Not only does he mix mud, uh, clean the rocks, set up the rocks, he's also the grill master. Armando, Mr. Single, ready to mingle. Did he open up this training book, this manual, how to do it? Nah, we're men, we don't read these things. Ah, get out of here. I'll figure this out myself. And even if we do it wrong, we did it our way. <laughs> It's a beautiful day here. I mean, the nicest day we've had so far, so time to do a little exploring. God's Grotto right there. Just kind of came to a dead end. It looks like maybe a little mountain lion den. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Got some mountain bikes. We're going mountain biking. Last night, however, scared me. The sun was going down. It was right at feeding time. There's a mountain lion that was like, Rrr! and I was like, holy, they can smell fear. Don't stop, keep going. I'm like trying not to be scared, but dude, that scared the crap out of me, man. Everything was going really fast. This back wall was coming together. The first rock we drilled went really well. The second rock took an entire day to get through it. So that's when things started kind of turning for the worse. We ended up actually taking the third rock and the fourth rock all the way into San Francisco on the back of a truck, but we could only do one at a time because we didn't have a trailer. So a couple trips to San Francisco. Every problem always has issues. I knew this job was going way too smooth. We definitely had an issue trying to get these boulders core drilled, but Penn Hall came through for us. Got a cool hat from them. 
it got through the rocks, got him back. not one rock that can sit big enough to encase like a whole area like this. So we're doing a lot of grottos these days that are 500 square foot, 1,000, 2,000 square foot grotto rooms all done with natural stone. After 20 years of doing this, you know, I'm still running into challenges. We're always evolving, getting better at what we do, coming up with new processes. There's always things you have to figure out on the fly. For example, we had four boulders that took three days to drill. We were supposed to drill eight boulders in two days. So I had to adjust. Strap it. Be like Miley Cyrus. Coming like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Look at my teleporta potty. It's the best porta potty I've ever seen. Check this out. You can wash your hands, got soap, look at that. You can go eat lunch and not be nasty. We got some wood going in right here. We're forming up our ceiling. So with these mega grottos, and especially in an area where either you have wave action like the coast of Florida or seismic activity like we have out here in California, what we have to do is run concrete and rebar through our structure so everything can be engineered. You know, these aren't just rocks stacked up on top of each other. These are all mortared against a concrete wall with rebar that's extended out of the wall. That gets folded into our ceiling. All the rock gets placed here first and everything is pinned with fiberglass rebar. Then we do our double mat of steel over top of it, pour the lid, and then put more rock on top of that. 24 ton of rock and another 24 ton of concrete. It's very rare to find guys that work all day and don't stop. I mean, like my crew. Uh, my name is Jesus, I'm for Ceballos. Uh, try to help Lucas. My name is Leo Bañuelos. I'm working with Savalas Company Enterprises. Leo Ceballos. And we're from Minden, Nevada. We're out here in Danville, working with Lucas. I mean, look at with that stone, it's like the color tone's spot on. We're gonna lay all our rock on the ceiling, then we're gonna drill about 200 holes, put 200 pieces of fiberglass rebar in that. Then on top of the fiberglass rebar, uh, we're able to just do uh, traditional number five steel rebar double mat above that. Then we pour our concrete, let it cure for 28 days, come back and finish the very top of this waterfall. And who knows, if today goes really well, I might have time to go back and see if I can find that mountain lion again. <laughs>